In this session, we will discuss about elements of Python program. Python program contains various components like expressions, statements, comments, function, blocks and indentation. Expression is any legal combination of symbols that Python evaluates and which then produce a value. For example, 27, a plus 9, 5 plus 4 divided by 9. These all are the valid expressions in Python. A statement is a programming instruction that does something. That is, some action takes place. For example, when we write a statement print hello, then it will produce the output hello. While an expression is evaluated, a statement is executed that is some action takes place. For example, in a equal to b plus 9, this is a valid expression of Python. Here, there will be no any output will produce, just evaluation work will took place. But in case of print a plus 27, the evaluation will uh, happen internally and the result will produce on the output. So the print is a statement because it get executed and produce some output. Comments are the additional readable information to clarify the source code but ignored by Python interpreter. So comments are going to increase the readability of program and it make it more understandable. There are three types of comments in Python. Full line comments, inline comments and multi-line comments. The physical lines are starting with hash are called full line comments. For example, hash, this is the program for a basic calculator. So this line is the comment line and it get ignored by the compiler. The purpose of comments are only to increase the readability and just to provide some information about the specific code. Inline comments start in the middle of a physical line. Suppose we need to write some instruction or information in between the code. So we require inline comments. Here, if A is greater than B, this is the statement. And in between this statement, the line is written here. This is the comment line. So as this comment line comes within the statement, in the same line in the statement, so it is known as inline comments. Multiline comments or it is also known as doc strings. Multiline comments are useful for detailed additional information related to the program in question. It helps to clarify certain important things. Comments enclosed in triple quotes or triple apostrophe are called doc strings. As I have already told, Comments are basically to increase the readability and just to give the more information to about the program. So when we need a larger explanation, so we use multi-line com comments. Functions. A function is a code that has a name and it can be called again and again. So calling a function becomes a statement. For example, print is a function and when we call print, to print something then that function call becomes a statement and it will ex get executed and it will produce some output. Indentation. Python uses indentation to create blocks of code. Statements of same indentation level are the part of the same block or suit. And the statement requiring block or suit have a colon at their end. So, Blocks are the code block or suit in a group of statements which are a part of another statement or function in a Python. For example, here if A is greater than B, this is the expression which has to be get evaluated and if the value is true, then this set of statement need to be executed and if the 
um, this expression gives the false then this set of statement will get executed so this blocking is done by the indentation and this is colon so let's have a one demonstration of program to show the in, uh, these elements in a program Now just we want to write a program to check whether the entered number is positive or negative. So first I just give the comment line program to check number. So this line is the comment line and it will get ignored by the compiler it is not going to get executed uh, uh, get executed in the program it is just for the documentation purpose now if i want to check a, a number whether it is positive or negative so we require one number so i have declared the variable num num equal to and input enter a number in this statement i have used two uh, function one is the input just uh, to take the input from the keyboard and another one is the int as whatever input comes from the keyboard it is evaluated as a it is considered as a string in a python so as we want to perform some numeric operation so we need to convert into a numeric value so int is the function to parse the string value into a numeric value now just i want to check okay, whether it is positive or negative so we have our logic is just ki if a number is greater than equal to 0 then it will be positive otherwise it will be negative so this if is the condition here and num greater than equal to 0 is the expression here and when I put the colon this become the indentation and when we press enter then just the four space appears this is the indentation it is a normal convention of a python to produce the indentation now this indentation is going to tell us that this uh, statement requires some block of a statement block of a statement might contain one or more statement so just i want to print here a statement positive now if i need to write some more statement then i can also write but right now i know, do not need to write any statement so just i change the indentation and I will write the else statement. Now again else is the uh, after else I have written col colon. It means it, this statement also going to require some indentation. Now cursor appears in this position. Now I will write print negative. So now I want to execute this program. So we need to give the valid name with the dot .py extension. So I have written the name here. And save with the .py extension. You can write any name, just the extension should be .py. Now, to run the program, I need to go in the run menu. I can uh, click on the run module or I can press F5 button also. Now, this program get executed and it is asking for a number. So, I will enter 9 here. Now, it us give the result positive number as 9 is a positive number. Now, I want to execute this code again to check whether the second condition is also running or not. Now this time I enter minus 5. Now minus 5 is a negative number then output should be negative. Yes, it's working. 
So in this program, the first line is the comment line. This input and int are the functions. Num is greater than or equal to zero. This is a valid expression of a Python. And when I write colon here, then it is an indentation. And whenever we put indentation, then it requires a block of a statement. So in this program, just we have written a one statement as a block. And uh, this is again indentation and it requires one block. And this print itself is a statement because it is going to get executed and produce some output. So now we are concluding this topic here. We will take another topic in next session. Thank you.